community, hear all the updates from the different team leads, um, and also invite uh, different community members to share updates on what they've been working on as well. Um, so I hear some, I think Dorit, I'm going to have to mute you, maybe. Let me just try. Yeah. Okay, that's better. I just pinned you. Uh, all right, so can you... While I get my screen running, um, to kick off the call, uh, Anna, do you want to get us started? Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, morning. As I see your screen, for the record, I do see it. it just uh, isn't dropping down yet. Um, yeah, I just realized it. Um, just one minute, I would, just one minute, I, I want to, again, start this call by taking a minute to appreciate, like, our team members who aren't here, our team members in Ukraine who have had another super tough week, um, and have been a lot on my mind and a lot on everyone's mind, and I just am sending them all the positivity that we possibly, possibly can, um, yeah, thinking of them. I'm going to have a short update this week, um, if you will, which is that, as I shared last week, um, one of the things that we've been doing forward-looking is really thinking a lot about what comes after V3. So for all of you guys in the community, we have a draft of dollar V3 that is up and includes a lot of the key enhancements that we want to push in the next few weeks to the smart contracts that include some really exciting uh changes in terms of adding good dollar savings and um basically in opening the community pool from the daily ubi mint and so uh where should i you know i talked to hadar yesterday and we talked about actually accelerating that vote and trying to push it sooner rather than later so for all of you guys on the team who haven't taken a look at all of the components in v3 uh check it out i don't know if it's a public notion board but if you're interested in it just dm me and i'll share your email access on it i'm happy to open it up to members of the community even though i don't want to publish it quite yet um in addition to that We've also been working on, like I said, the, um, a, a forward-looking monetary policy brief that starts to actually define um, how we want, how we see good dollar working as part of the larger crypto ecosystem, and what role that we see ourselves playing in terms of interacting with other stakeholders, other protocols, um, other types of partners and really honing in on how we expect and hope that good dollar as a currency will actually function and the key features that it will have uh, in terms of you know investments that we hold in the reserve price and peg stability um issuance and who it goes to etc so that's really a working draft that again i'm happy to i think i've shared it with maybe bertrand and a few other you know people in the community who I wanted feedback on. But again, if you're, I'm, we haven't shared it publicly yet, but I'm happy to share it with members of the community who are interested in seeing it. Again, just message me. I'll share your email to that Notion board. Um, so that's what's going on with the protocol. Stay tuned. Um, we might be pushing V3 that, sooner than I had originally thought. So uh, I'll update on that as I know more and talk to Hadar over the next few days. Um, I just briefly discussed this next week. One of the most exciting things that's part of actually V4 is uh, a balancer grant for multi-asset reserve that's going to do research for a new standard for a multi-asset bonding curve. Um, I worked with the balancer team this week to do the comms and the social media, so we're ready to go to announce that on Monday. Um, and 
looking forward to getting that announced and done and hopefully it'll you know it'd be a good calling card for us and beginning to talk to other dev shops and other research houses to try to get them to work on top of good dollars so that'll be interesting and exciting we're looking forward to it um we have a new good dollar deck which i'm really pumped about uh we have the final review for the v1 of the deck tomorrow which includes um you know really an overcap of of where we've been uh what we've achieved to date and where we're going uh and i think most importantly it's designed to really showcase the community and the community stories of the people who are the change makers that are actually building good dollar which is actually the most powerful thing so we have our final review team tomorrow and i hope that then we will have a complete uh v1 of a deck that includes an intro to who we are a showcase of the community a showcase of the protocol the products the services and also sections on how you can partner with us so as soon as we have the complete version that i see with all of the content in it tomorrow i'm ready to share that in the general channel and also put a version up on the community site that people can begin to use and, and play around with. Um, the other component there is that we have a bunch of like a, an upgraded kind of brand look, which is really exciting and looks awesome. And so the next deliverable will be starting to address like the components of the brand kit and how uh, all the ambassadors communities can actually begin to like use it in a useful way. And and we're going to start to translate it into a basic website project. So that's the next steps there. Very, very, very excited to have it mostly complete and done. Um, we've been waiting for it for a while. I'm going to skip the entrepreneurship grants because I see no acts here. So I'm going to throw it to him to actually talk about what he posted on Discord. But I threw it up here in my update because I was so pumped to see it up there. So I wanted to make sure it got some shine because I'm so pumped. So, Noak, I'm going to hand it over to you. Um, just one final call to the core team. Please, please, please help me clean up the slack. It's our home, collective home, and everyone wants it to be clean. So I really want us to try to – my goal is to actually begin to invite more people to contribute in more channels and the best way for us to uh, as part of our like decentralization and increasing the number of collaborators that we have so i want us to you know slim down what we have and make sure we're archiving all of the great content that we have and i've done what i can but i need other people to to step in and, and complete complete it for the stuff that's theirs so that's my note and i'm going to hand it over any questions before i hand it over to noak Up. Noak, take it away. Cool, awesome. Can you guys hear me? Very well. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to quickly introduce the, uh, the good micro brands that I, I posted on uh, Discord. Uh, no, sorry, Discourse um, on the on the site. If you've uh, read it, uh, great. If you haven't, so go there and have a look. It's a it's a long post, so I'll just summarize it uh, real quick. So. I, I've been looking for ways to um, uh, donate money to the Good Dollar Protocol. And there is the Crypto for Her campaigns, a cryptic way that you could donate to the, ma the main protocol, UBI. But I wanted to find something in between. If you do good Crypto for Her, there's like six, eight, nine different projects you can give to. And they're curated and it's a great list, but it's a small little list. And if you give to the whole protocol, then you give to thousands, 50,000 users, uh, which is great too. Uh, but somewhere in between. <clears throat> and what I was looking for specifically was a way to incentivize people to do better with good dollar, to do more, to increase the utility. So that's what this uh, this uh, proposal is about. Uh, it's a new way of donating money to the community and doing it in the most productive way possible. So give to those members of the community that are like the best members. And I define that as the people that are accepting good dollars as payment. 
because ultimately what we want to do is we want to build more utility with uh, with good dollar and utility is equal to things I can do with good dollar uh, and the best way of do of, 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 of promoting that is to promote people to accept good dollar as payment for whatever for donuts for hair haircuts for buying stuff on the marketplace uh, whatever it could be uh, so that's what I wanted to do uh, I didn't find a way that I could uh, donate money in the best way, uh, so now I'm proposing that we build it together. And um, you may or may not know this, but I'm not working uh, with the core team anymore. Since the summer, I'm no longer working as the, what I was doing before, um, the, the uh, developer advocate. So this is going to be launched as a community initiative. I'll, I'm launching it as a community member, uh, and any one of you guys can launch your own initiatives too in the same way. So we're piloting this as like a community driven thing. Um, so this is really an ask for help. Uh, so if you guys, if you're uh, out there in the community and you want to help build this, uh, help me uh, to build it, then, you know, uh, put your hand in the air and uh, let's talk. Let's do it together. So I've created a um, discourse uh, post where I sort of outline the proposal. I've created a... Um, Telegram channel called Good Microgrants, and I've created a Twitter handle as well called Good Microgrants. Um, I should mention that it's different from what Tomer is doing too. He, he called something uh, Good Good Grants, I think, uh, which is also a great initiative. Yeah, I want to promote that, but that's also it, it's more in line with like the Crypto for Her. It's a manually curated list of uh, entrepreneurs and, and people that are doing well. Uh, doing good for good dollar. This one that I'm calling good micro grants is non curated. So anyone can sign up. So here's how, how it's going to work. Anyone uh, that's an entrepreneur that wants to do something and accept good dollar as payments, just sign up, put your name uh, in a type form. And that's the only thing that's needed in order to sign up. And then you, you, you show, you share your wallet and you say, this is the wallet that I'm going to be uh, using in my business. And, and that's all you need to do. Then you start accepting, you start selling whatever you want to sell and, and uh, start accepting payments. And then at the end of the month, we'll do analytics. So everyone that signed up, um, all the wallets that will be known because we have them in a, in a list. Um, and then we'll do an analytic. And whoever was the one that received the most payments and the most value payments. So it's a quadratic formula. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but it's the same one that... Um, Gitcoin is using uh, to figure out matching uh, and their principle is to figure out, you know, to let the community decide which causes are the best to donate to. And then the causes that get, get the most donations are also the ones that are going to get the most matching. And it's, um, it's civil resistance. It, it's good in a lot of different ways. Uh, just trust me on that. I'm, I'll be happy to explain all the details of it uh, in a different call, but for now, Let's just uh, assume that it's a good good way of uh, allocating funds. And the way it's allocated is to whoever is in the entrepreneur that gets the most customers and that gets customers that pay the most. So if you get customers that pay a lot of money in good dollars, or not a lot, but you get a lot of customers, a lot of different customers that pay a little, that's also valued the same way. It's actually valued more to get more customers than it is to get, val to get high value uh, revenue. So if you get a ton of customers, then you'll score high in the matching and then the grants will come your way as well so it's kind of a way to supplement the income for entrepreneurs um and that's how i want to donate my money so if we can get this built then i'll put some money into it and any entrepreneur that signs up will get some of that donation so that's my pitch and for now, um, I don't think we should take too, too much more time on this, this call, but uh, I will say that if you want to participate, find me uh, on uh, comment on discourse, comment on the telegram that's called Good Micro Grant, or uh, follow me on the Twitter uh, that's also called Good Micro Grant, and I'll have a, a longer call for anyone that's interested in participating and helping to build um, tomorrow, same time tomorrow. Um, uh, it'll be a Twitter uh, open space so anyone can sign in and, and listen to and talk to me and uh, you know tell me you know you want to help out and there's tons of different things that we need to do we need some design we need process design we need um, uh, 
need coding for solidity. There's tons of different things. It's not too, too much, but there are many different roles. So whatever you're interested in helping out with from a Web3 perspective, um, designing a type form, uh, designing the marketing for it, there's, there's a lot of things that needs to be done. Little things, but um, if I get some people to help me, I'm pretty ho- hopeful and positive. That- Any questions on that? I see a hand in the air. Unmute yourself. Faisal, did you put your hand in the air? No? Oh, just a thumbs up. Thank you. Awesome. Any other questions? I would just request let's drop the telegram and the Twitter in our in the in this chat, because I think you've got a lot of yeah. people who want to join. Absolutely. We've got a lot so, of people who I think are excited. We're really excited yeah, to see yeah. this kicked off. Yeah, either if you're an entrepreneur, you want to sign up. Uh, there is already a, a basic type form that we, you can you can sign up. I'll, I'll post the Notion uh, link as well where you can sign up as an entrepreneur. But right now, it's not functional uh, at all. <laughs> so uh, that's not the first thing that I need sign-ups for. I need, the first thing I need sign-ups for is anyone that wants to help. Code, market, uh, design the process, design how, we're, how it's going to work. Just have a couple of uh, brainstorming sessions with me. So, Noak, I uh, have been delayed on this, but we, I, I don't, is Awosu on this call? I guess not. We've got, I know Awosu responded to your proposal. We chatted a bit offline and, and um, I'm going to intro you guys. I meant to do it yesterday over email. I did it. But he um, is on board to help you kick off all the, Project management, admin, soliciting people, type forming, collecting stuff. No. He's really eager to to pound some pavement with you. Oh, here he is. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm on your call. There he is. <laughs> Sweet. We actually had that discussion. I've had the chat with Noah, and then he has explained. I've shared uh, my point of view too. And I think um, it is actually going to be a great idea if you can see it through. Well, we're count- we trust you guys. We're, we we believe in you guys to to make it happen. No one better than you than this team. Awesome. Yeah, I've yeah. got a, I've got started on the type form. I started on the solidity uh, smart contract. I've got lots of things started, but I'm short on time myself. So anyone that wants to help, uh, more than welcome. So awesome. We're well, happy to welcome you to the team. A little bit of a, bit of a project for myself, too. Like, I'm, I'm learning as I'm doing it. You know, it's not going to be perfect the first time around, but hopefully. You know, I'm learning, and it's it's fun to, you know, dabble a little bit and, you know, get into Web3 yourself. If you want to join me on that journey, just uh, give me a ping. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Um, cool. So I'm going to move on to uh, the data and the numbers. Uh, Tiago, do you want to take it away? And thank you, Noah. Faisal, do you have a, I see your hand raised. Do you have a question? I move on. I can't hear you if you're speaking. Can't hear you. It's not working. Does anyone else hear him? No. Hazel, Hazel, we can't hear you, so we're gonna leave questions till the end because we can't we can't hear you, so we'll leave it till the end. Okay. Um. Okay. Tiago, all you.
hearing anything? No, can't seem to hear them. No. Can't load up his uh, stream either. I hear something now. <laughs> Oh, it's Paige. Paige is coming in hot with the music, but no Tiago. <laughs> Guess you're on mute. Guess you're on mute. I also lost, uh, lost Jess because she looks frozen here. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, let me go then. Yeah, I'm reshuffle. Really for... Right. Uh, just to confirm, can you say this? Can you see me? Can you hear me? I hear you. Yep, no, I don't see you near you, but... Not your screen. Don't see my screen? Yeah? Uh, Looks like it's still uh, loading. Okay. I'm serious. Yeah, you can see the screen? Yeah, can you can hear me. Yeah, yeah, all right. So why don't you go, Tiago? <laughs> oh, great. Uh, fresh <laughs> debate and fix the problem. So, uh, let's follow with the pet. Uh, maybe some numbers will be a little small, but it's okay. Uh, first, we have uh, some KKPIs from the total numbers we distribute uh, in the project, the UniQBI claimers we have, the market capitalizations, and the active wallets. Uh, then we have a summary about the growth in the last seven days in the number of claimers, the number of tip claimers, and the new claimers in the last seven days, we have a huge increase. And if you check the image right below, uh, this increase in the last seven days come basically from Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Nigeria. Uh, was the countries with most growth. And then the protocol update in the last seven days, uh, the good dollar price stable, music from I don't know what country. Uh, a UBI we delivered in the last week. A question, maybe? Ask you, you page. I muted her. Sorry, Paige, we love your music. But we love numbers. Yeah. So, uh, then the UBI we distributed last week, $4,000. And the distribution per member, if you had claimed all days, uh, 11 cents. Uh, the market capitalization and the total interest uh, generating the product. Uh, then I stole in some charts from another presentation. Uh, and we have the good dollar performance until now, the good dollar price, weekly variation, monthly variation, and annual variation. And below this, we have uh, the good dollar price in comparison with another currency. The first chart is good dollar versus peso argentino. And the second chart is good dollar versus Indian rupee. So in these charts, we can see the good dollar is growing strong since the beginning and still stable in the beer market. And the another course is uh, reducing the, the price. So good dollar is very stable in comparison with another course. And then we have 
uh, some distributions per claimer if you had claimed yesterday, in the past seven days, in the past 30 days, in the past e uh, year, and size ever. In good dollars and in the equivalent in dollars. Uh, the stake update, uh, the first line is the people who stake in the Fuse blockchain, so still growing after the time. And the second line is the good staking in Ethereum. Good numbers. And then we have the supply in each blockchain. Uh, the first chart shows the good dollars. The red is in Ethereum blockchain. In the blue is the Fuse blockchain. And where is the holders? Almost all the holders are in the Fuse blockchain. And to finish, uh, we have some data about the marketplace. Uh, our data from the last week, two weeks. Uh, the number of signups increasing a lot. The new product products. Uh, the new products was approved. Uh, the payment requests are people who try to, to pay or purchase something. And purchase are transactions done. And the reviews inserted. And we have two charts showing uh, countries uh, the people who are access, accessing the marketplace are Brazil, United States, Nigeria, Indonesia, India. So basically the mine countries who is using good dollars uh, and the age and gender. Most are men and more young people. So there are the numbers from the, the last week and any questions? Just let me know. What a beautiful charts. Just back. I still want to take over. Can I continue? A response means I should continue. So, hi. I hope you can hear me. I don't remember if I muted myself again. I'm yes, guessing no. Yeah, good. Yeah. So uh, I prepared uh, the report today to be a little bit uh, more comprehensive. Comprehensive. I thought that you know, since it's the beginning of the month, why not look back into what we did uh, in September? So uh, as you know, the Dev team has been heavily affected by the war, and as Anna said, we are always keeping them in our thoughts. They're struggling with power outages, but that uh, they're safe. Uh, and Lewis, uh, who is our developer that lives uh, in the Netherlands, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not very good with my European geography. He's taking a holiday, a well-deserved holiday uh, this week and the next. So uh, our dev team uh, is uh, heavily compromised uh, for this week and the following. However, they're still uh, working and delivering and moving forward. So um, if you don't know, uh, we did finish the iOS app. I've been testing it. I've been claiming with my app. I get notifications and it's really exciting to see. We sent it to be revealed and Apple is still revealing. We are having a uh, few issues with uh, Apple because they request us to provide test credentials. And as you know, the wallet is... Uh, is uh, you, you you're supposed to have your own account so you're not supposed to use someone else's account so we're struggling a little bit to communicating with them but um you know things find a way to get solved uh and if they don't then i will be crying in the next meeting so <laughs> that's something to look forward to <laughs> to see uh, other than that, so uh, as you know, we also have been working on implementing native base, which will uh, make the work of the developers easy when it comes to coding the user interface of the design, which has been has been uh, uh, a problem in the past, and now uh, it this won't be a problem anymore. Uh, we also did massive work on adding the FE4. So FE stands for Face Verification Full. It's uh, the liveness and uniqueness uh, check that we do that didn't exist on GoodSwap, and we had to implement it, and we had to uh, release this uh, in November. What that means in practical terms is that uh, when, uh, whenever uh, there is... Uh, so we don't, we don't require the people to create a good dollar wallet anymore. 
to be able to claim from the Good Dollar Protocol. They will be able to have whatever wallet they want to have and go to Good Swap and connect their wallets and pass the face verification flow on Good Swap. And uh, this will facilitate any expansion that we want to do in the future for uh, any other chains or uh, you know just open doors to people that already have a wallet and they don't want to have the Good Dollar wallet. So they don't want to be stuck in the Good Dollar wallet. So. This is really exciting. Uh, we uh, also started to design. We are like in the final steps of the designing a dedicated claim page on GoodSwap because, as you know, it's just a button at the top there that doesn't have any contest. That doesn't. Uh, it's just a button that is really difficult to uh, to really see the beauty of uh, the claim mechanism that we have. So we are working on that. The develop the development of this page is very advanced. Uh, we are. Also advancing the design, this this thing takes takes time, especially with uh, a team that is affected by a war, right? And um, with the constraints that we have, but it's working. It's going forward. Uh, we are also in the process of improving analytics for Good Swap, which was a really simple uh, when we launched Good Swap. Actually, when we launched Good Swap, it didn't even have analytics. We implemented it. We started implementing. The simple things like how many people are opening this page, we didn't even know that. And now we are at a stage where we get more detailed information on the flow that people are uh, taking when they access Good Swap, and that helps us uh, build uh, better for the people that are using it. And we're also working on uh, not only uh, tests, better test documentation, but also the doc documentation for protocol v3, right? We want to expand and to add. Uh, more uh, more people to this community of uh, good dollar builders that we have, and the the start of that uh, relationship building with these people is by providing them with documentation where they can read about the project and get uh, details, technical details that they need to to build, so that they don't have to depend only on us and uh, hopping in a call to get information. So. Uh, this is uh, what we have been doing in, in the last uh, month. Uh, as you know, it takes time, things take time, and this is why we always try to like release MVPs, which stands for Minimum Vi Viable Product. So what's the minimum thing that we can build that people can use so that we can move forward? And um, that said, so on, on the, the product size, so we are mapping and wireframing our new bridges. We want, uh, you know, Good Dollar is a multi-chain protocol. So we want to prepare uh, to expand so that uh, we can provide utility to all of our community members. So to do that, we need bridges to allow people to move their Good Dollars from one chain to the other and use whatever uh, each chain that is claiming the good dollar for the person that uh, wants to uh, benefit from uh, the, the, the purchasing power that you get when you claim the dollar. Uh, so besides uh, the bridge, we, with the combined, the combined efforts of our new brand designer, Sana, who is working on the, on the deck with Anna, she uh, came up with a, a, a brilliant new uh, refreshed and fun and interesting brand look for us. Uh, and with the work of our UI designer, who has been working directly with me to come up with this new feel for the good swap, and the work that the dev team has done to implement native base, we start to envision a uh, refreshed UI for good swap. So whenever, whenever we say like, let's uh, redo the whole thing, let's make it look pretty, that usually freaks everyone out because that's a lot of work. So what we're trying to do is to use elements from the new brand and what we have, what we have that is existing and this new technical um, improvement that the, the devs did to give uh, everyone a new good swap page that looks refreshed, but that it, it doesn't take time from doing the things that really, really matter in terms of impact, like all of the utility work and all of the other uh, technical work that we are, we are doing.
so uh, this is, I, I'm personally very excited for this because I never liked the way the good sod looked. So I think this, is, will, this, this will be great. And it's a combined effort of the whole team. And it's lovely uh, when we all work together to deliver something. As you know, we launched the, the good, uh, good Market the version 2, which has lots of uh, new key features that the community requests, such as payment integrations, reviews, messaging, bookable listings, and a cool map uh, that you can see other people around you. Thiago showed the data. I think that uh, it's a beginning, right? We can see that uh, there are definitely more purchases than we had before. People are starting to see the reviews. And this is a, a long-term project that uh, I would love to find someone that is really passionate about the marketplace to help us continue growing with the marketplace. There's a lot we need, especially supply. We need people to add more listings. We need everyone that has a project to add their list, just like we had the, uh, we still have the good give back, but the marketplace also allows you to add uh, a request for donations. If you have a small business, you should put it there. If you have a, a service that you offer, like something that you want to sell, please add it there because the most important thing in a marketplace is having what to sell, right? So there's a lot that we want to do. If, if you are interested in helping, please uh, let us know. Uh, um, and that's it for the marketplace. No, it's not it for the marketplace. So when we launched the Good Markets V2, we saw that lots of people were adding NFTs or whatever they thought that was uh, NFTs. All right, Good Markets, but XYZ, if I'm not mistaken, should be that. So. So we saw that lots of people added NFTs, lots of people wanted to buy NFTs, and we had a platform that wasn't for NFTs. So what uh, that showed to us was the opportunity to reach out to someone, to a partner, and say, hey, here are people that have NFTs and people that want to buy NFTs, would you like to uh, be our partner? So that's how uh, uh, Anna reached out to our traffic and um, formalize a partnership with them for them to accept good dollars as payments for as payment for NFTs. So, uh, what environment? Uh, sorry, I can't understand type. Of, so, what we we saw was an opportunity. We acted on it, and soon uh, people will be able to create collections on our traffic and accept good dollars as payment for for their NFTs. And uh, the buyers will get the NFTs minted directly to their their wallets, meaning we won't be having to um, tell people that we're buying in the good markets those NFTs that you know, they likely are not going to get them, that they, they lost their good dollars because it's going to be all automatic to our traffic. Uh, we also agree with them to direct a fee, a 5% fee over the transactions to the distribution contract on fuel. So what this means is that a beautiful circle where you claim you have this, this purchasing power, there is someone that is, uh, remember we talked about the supply, someone that is willing to sell something for the dollar, so in this case NFT, and when you buy your NFT, the money from this fee goes back to the distribution contract, so it goes to another claim, claimer. So it's a, a beautiful circle that is what we want to to build uh, a good dollar protocol where you know you claim, you buy, you improve your life. Uh, someone, an entrepreneur, makes something, uh, makes revenue, so they are also uh, invested in a good dollar protocol, and uh, there is uh, money that comes back to the distribution contract. So it's a beautiful circle. Uh, and uh, for the last thing for the certificate, we are scoping this ad addition of a new product type to the marketplace called NFTs so that uh, it's, uh, we get better listings in, the, in our good markets, right? We don't get scammy NFT listings, but we get uh, things that are legit that will point directly to our traffic. And the last thing that I want to say, sorry, I always say too much and I'm trying to speak really fast. <laughs> it's really difficult. But uh, the last thing is that uh, we, in one of the calls that we had last month, we, um, the community, two of you, I, I think it was Paige and Faris, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. My, I have memory issues. You raised that we definitely had an issue with Facetech. We, we were 
aware of it. Uh, so now um, what we did, we did was a full reveal of our issues. We prepared a report for them. We got in a call with them and we said, hey, we, we do have this issue. Can you help us investigate this? So now we are waiting, uh, waiting for them to analyze their side of the data because they have more granular data and uh, to let us know if they have a solution or if they identify the issue. And uh, once we, we hear back from them, we'll take action or you know, wait for them to take action on whatever they, they find out. And I think my, that's my report for the, the last month, like all the good things that I wanted to mention. Any questions or something that I forgot, Anna, that you want me to talk about? Let's save questions for the end well, and just get through the work. A lot of really critical stuff. I'm excited about it. I think in particular also for just for the community uh, to know that we are really trying to find, we know that the face tech and the face verification has been frustrating for some of you guys. And we're really first trying to understand the, the issue. And then second of all, um, trying to understand if and how and when we would be able to come up with like a another ways for people to troubleshoot their own face verification issues, ways for people to submit to their wallets. It's not something that's that fast because the civil resistance and the identity issue is like a big, big issue, but just important for you guys to know that we're looking at it seriously. Yeah. Jess, you can take over. Pat. Thank you. Thanks. Um, to be here. All right. I'm going to go through the next few updates quickly because I do want to leave room for questions. Yes, and I cannot. everyone has access. Can anyone access. hear Jess? I cannot. You can't I hear can't. me? Uh, hold I can, on. I can hear her. Like, I can hear Jess. I can't hear her. Mm. I can also. All right. Mary, you go, and I'm going to call back. Give your updates. Uh, Pat, can you share the screen? Because I'm recording the call, so I don't want to exit this. Oh, sure, sure. I thought that Jess would prefer to handle the presentation and present at the same time. Like, talk and present at the same time, but I can't share my screen. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead since she's having some tech problems. Uh, I'm just gonna do this this quickly because we don't have that much time. Uh, I just wanna talk to you guys that like, uh, we submitted like a new proposal on the discourse forum. And the aim of this proposal is to migrate the good DAO discourse to a platform that is uh, called Commonwealth. And what is Commonwealth? So Commonwealth is an all in one governance platform for crypto communities. And as a quick summary, right now we have like this core, we have this course and that's already like confusing because they even have like the same names and we have Snapchat. Uh, we, when we move to Commonwealth, the, this course will disappear. So we'll be moving the forum from this course to Commonwealth and all the debates are gonna happen there. And what's really cool is like the uh, Commonwealth also lets you integrate Snapchat. So in the same platform, in the same UI, you're gonna be able to debate and vote on proposals. And we think that by making this, uh, and having everything in one place, it's gonna help the community to get like more involved. And on a second stage, um, as Anna has mentioned, uh, B3 is gonna come up like soon and other proposals that are really critical from the protocol and that's gonna require uh, on-chain voting. We haven't done it yet. Right now, the only way to do on-chain voting is really from the contracts and that's not easy to execute. That's not easy to do for like average users. Uh, but hopefully Commonwealth uh, it integrates your context on it, so it's going to provide a UI easy for people to vote on chain. Uh, I'm having a call with them later today, so I can figure out some doubts and like how the flow to like, uh, migrate all this is going to work, but uh, I'm really excited for it. And as a second really quickly update, like more fun, uh, I'm in Tel Aviv, so I got to hang out with uh, Dorit and, and Jess. And uh, I'm loving the city, it's really fun. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Can you hear me now? 
Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, man. Um, cool. Yes, so, can you hear Jess? Can can I can't hear Jess? Can anyone hear Jess? I can. I can hear you. Is I can't even see here. Oh, can can. Ah. Uh, Typing. Mary, you can you? Yeah, so let's see. She said, "So strange, I can see you." Um. Let's go through. Yeah, let's skip to Doreen and see if uh, just see, and then if not, Mary and I can split. Wait, what about place. what about now? Can you hear me she now? Can't get her sound off. Can you hear me now? Okay, so uh, let me just uh, quickly update. Well, basically, I, I, I'm not sure that we share it, but we have a time frame for our uh, entity, new entity setup, which is we aim to be finalized by the end of this year. Uh, currently, we have a new team that uh, is working with us uh, on the legals. So we had some progress, so. Um, yeah. I hope that the, by mid uh, November we'll be able to maybe the the third week of November we will be able to present uh, you know the principle of uh, the foundation uh, operation what will be under the foundation how it will be structured how it the fund flow between the foundation grants to the the out treasury and the uh, you know, basically, uh, as you all know, the Good House is an, an a centralized entity which currently operate uh, independently, and the relationship between us as the initiative of this project originally started in uh, 2019 is to step back and be the uh, basically the foundation that will support initiatives that the good DAO uh, community will uh, be interested in will be um, would like us to support and uh, all the process of how it's it's going to be done is the the what we are working on like and and this is a call for you guys to share with us your ideas, your thought around it, what, how you would like us to see, you know, the, the treasury of the DAO operating. If you have any ideas uh, or are familiar with other DAOs on your, or you have your own ideas that you want to share with us, feel free to, to send me an email to Anna, anyone, Jess, uh, Mary, anyone in the team and, uh, one of our following calls will be uh, dedicated to a few all the aspects of, of you know the DAO management in general, how uh, the treasury should work, how is the flow, and all related issue. This is for my part. If you have any question, no? feel free to share with me. So I got Jess here. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> So she can do her update. I switched tiles. Um, cool. So you can hear me now. Uh, so on the commute, so community and growth updates. Uh, we had we went back to the ambassador program, um, and before publishing it, had wanted to clarify what it really means to be an ambassador because everyone is an ambassador. Um, and how do we structure the program in a way that's, yep, do more good as a good dollar ambassador. So this is the link to the page, um, and you can see all the information here. Uh, basically what we did is we looked at all the activities over the past few months, um, even more than that, uh, since we launched this and looked at the most active communities and contributors and who um, you know, can take this program forward and drive more good dollar utility and education um, and opportunities in their community. Uh, so you can read all about this. Um, who's ever scrolling, if you could go back. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, but. 
I want to keep on. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I'm announcing that on social media today because we finally finished the, the messaging around that. Um, we also spent a lot of time going through all the community payments and the payment processes um, and getting organized around how uh, rewards are uh, initiated, sent, and distributed. Um, and so this is also going to be a key responsibility that we will pass on to the community ambassador, um, which is one of the uh, one of the community jobs that we are uh, looking for as a part-time contributor alongside a social media um, part-time contributor. So there's more details in those pages as well. Um, I'll go into detail about uh, all those opportunities in a separate, um, just a separate community call. Uh, and exciting, oh, this is an exciting conversation that I think will also apply to the way that we um, grow ambassadors around the world um, and different working groups, which is Hadar and I had different conversations with the Grappa team this week. Grappa is basically uh, building the decentralized LinkedIn um, and creating NFT badges for uh, professional reputation. So basically, if you're, you know, working as an ambassador in a Web3 project, like, how do you uh, gain more reputation from the community that's, you know, verifying that you've done a good job so that you can um, unlock different communities and, and opportunities with those badges. So it's really cool. They're really, really excited about Good Dollar. We're going to start the private beta um, with a developer cohort. So if you are interested, please get in touch with me or Hadar. We're going to be setting up a Telegram group. Um, it's really simple. Like they're going to be doing most of the most of the heavy lifting. We just have to share with them our brand, and they're going to create a badge for us. Um, and then we will share a type form so people can sign up for whoever's interested in participating. Um, so that if you're a developer and you've participated in a bounty, or if you've done some sort of um, if you've contributed in any way to Good Dollar you can start getting a uh, really cool badge and we'll hopefully we can scale this to different communities um, and different uh, skill sets as well. Um, doing good, I shared this with the ambassador group uh, that earlier this week um, we distributed the community seats that were allocated to Good Dollar as an impact DAO. Um, so we filled up most of them with the ambassadors and moderators and some of the core team members, as well as some of our early, early Good Dollar supporters. Um, so that's going to be an exciting partnership uh, to get more involved in, in more NFT communities and do more, um, really do more bigger marketing pushes around uh, UBI and impact. And plus, it's just the name is too good. It's, Good dollar and doing good. We have no excuse. Um, and then community calls. This is something that I've reached out to some people already and started scheduling. Uh, there, I would love to take our conversation from Telegram and actually have like a proper um, 20 or 30 minute catch up um, with each of you. And I will also be. Uh, recording these conversations because we really we see that all the amazing work that and and not it's not work it's like all the amazing growth that's happening in these communities and um, I I think we feel a really big responsibility to make sure that we're sharing these stories in the most uh, meaningful way and I think personally I think the most meaningful way is just your voices um, so this is a uh, this is just a way for us to catch up and, and to hear more about what you're doing, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, Ambassador Spotlight, we already talked about NOAC. Thank you. Um, if there's any who here is from, I, see, I saw Progress earlier. I think I saw Steve earlier. Um, but I would like to open 
progress if you're there. Uh, if you could share a little bit about how the event went, we'd love to hear from you. There, yeah. Um, if maybe progress isn't there, but here you can see um, some pictures and videos from. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so um, this was um, the Blockchain and Social Impact Summit in Abuja. It held um, last Saturday. So um, I and Steve presented the Nigerian community there. We had our booth and we got to connect with um, several projects. And in the coming weeks, we will be seeing, we'll be having some AMAs with them and um, just having talks with them on how to continue partnerships too. And um, one other uh, very big achievement we had there was that we we formed an Abuja community, right? We formed the Gudola Abuja um, community. And right now, we have a group, um, a WhatsApp group, and yeah, are over 100 members already for the Gudola Abuja community. We are hoping to onboard them this Sunday. We are having, we will be having a community call on the Nigerian Telegram channel, and we would. They have so many questions, so many questions. How to withdraw? What claiming is all about? And so many other questions. So we're going to be answering all their questions on Sunday uh, on the Nigerian Telegram group, and we are also planning to do an airdrop and um, we are hoping to just keep growing too so um yeah um jess there's there's someone i would like to connect you with from abuja community too so I, i'm guessing after the call i will connect you with her um she's working on a project um more um focused on um onboarding women into web3 and um, i told i talked to her about the crypto for her and she was really interested so i said i'm going to connect both of you so yeah Great. that's basically it about abuja and we had um we had over 15 new claimers on ground that day that aside um, the new communities we had. We didn't really have issues, the twin issues. It was just one we had and they were actual twins. <laughs> so um it was good. It was good. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Thank you for bringing Good Dollar to life in Nigeria. You really you really took a huge step with that event and you made it all happen. So I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of you on this call. This is it's just awesome to think about all how much we've accomplished like I don't think we give ourselves enough credit for what we've all done so just uh we usually do this in the beginning but I guess the moment of gratitude is now <laughs> good job everyone incredible work team really 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 exciting stuff are there any questions well, I'm I know surprised, we're a bit over time. Uh, surprised that they uh the, the twins didn't pass because uh, I know that we've had is issues with twins, but if you look at Facetech's uh, documentation. They say that they're actually able to distinguish twins from each other. So, a little well, unfortunate that they didn't work. These guys looked really identical, so uh, uh, they, they, were, they really looked alike. And since yes, we've been having <laughs> twin issues, we've been struggling with them, yeah. My As I said, we're working on it. We're really working on it. Pat has had a number of calls with FaceTech to try to, you know, improve our... Getting... More, like, more like a month ago, it was kind of worse. Even people that were not twins, the system could not differentiate. But I think now it's getting better. 
personally, I began. Of course, and Abdar did some work on that too. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we we have been working on this so long. Yeah, and, and but it did. Good work. It's pause. Mm -hmm. No mute. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So thanks everyone. We're gonna share this uh, this recording for anyone that couldn't make it. Um, also the the notes, and we will see you again in two weeks. Um, we will also see you in how many hours? In Human two hours, hours it's seven. In two. In two hours. In two hours, um, we're going on a Twitter space with Human Dow. Um, to talk about crypto and education and impact. Um, so come and come and join us there as well. And yeah, you know. And tomorrow, about? tomorrow. And tomorrow, time, and tomorrow the, the micro grants. Micro grants. Tomorrow crypto grants. Um, let's, I'll put that on the calendar on the community site. Thanks. And. Oh, I can put it on the Twitter. Well, from yeah, I tweeted out from from uh, the good microgram. So if you just uh, retweet that, that would be great. Great. So let's get make sure the good dollar handle promotes that. That's a great way to support you. But okay, good call. Thanks, Jess. All right. Thanks, everyone. Stay good. Thank you. Bye, Be good. <laughs> Do good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Why does Anna look 